Halloween's right around the corner. Have you thought about your costume if you're going to 3D print it? Well, today we're going to pick one mask and we're going to print it today. Join me as we print Dr. Doom. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said today, we are looking at the Fantastic Four Dr. Doom. So this is a print that I was asked to do by a coworker, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And it's a really cool idea because right around the corner, especially if you do 3D printing, Halloween is not that far off um, for this year when I'm making this video at this time. It's already August. It's just a couple months away. So it's, if you're going to make Halloween costumes, it's time to get started. And the Doctor Doom mask is a really easy one to do, in all honesty. I did this... The final product I did all in one print. It came out beautiful. Um, you'll see a couple pictures towards the end of a couple different variations. I used J.O. Silk for one, uh, silver. I used Inland Silk Silver. And then I just did a Duramex Silver PLA Plus. Um, so there's definitely some variation in them, but the masks were actually, once I finally got it narrowed down and got it supported correctly, they're actually quite easy to print. And actually, here's one right here. So you guys can see, now, I haven't refined it yet. Um, I need to take a heat gun over, get rid of a few stream, but stuff like that. But the actual detail is amazing. Um, and this is the Inland Silver Silk, and you can see it's got that definite shine and metal. There's not a lot of work I'm going to have to do here painting-wise. And where supports were, and it turned white when I took it off, or if I sand, a really easy way to fix that is just take a heat gun back, and the color will pop again, which is great. But it easily fits on my face and is a basically a really good clean cut. So this one is what we're doing today and we're going to do it in our typical fashion. We're going to go out to Thingiverse, we're going to get the file, then we're going to cut, then we're going to slice the file in Kira. Um, you'll see Kira 4.10 today. I have upgraded finally to the newest edition. So we'll slice it in there and then we'll get it back on the printer. You may see a couple different iterations of this because I did have a hard time getting this one just the way I wanted it. I tried printing it and cutting in half and printing it and it didn't work out too well and just kind of finally printing out one thing. I did this entire mask with an Ender 3 only. I did not throw this on a CR-10, so I'm gonna try to pull back and use more Ender 3 stuff um, and show you guys even the bigger models. Let's get them done on an Ender 3. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So, a little bit of things before we jump over to Kira. If you guys like the channel or you're new here, hit that subscribe button, join the crew, get notified of additional videos by hitting that bell icon. That way, you know what we're working on, you can see what we're going what we're going for. If you're new to printing or anything like that, or just have a question about this model or any of the stuff that you see on the channel, comments down below. Um, definitely a thing. I am working on getting a membership up and running, um, and there'll be some cool features in there like a monthly Zoom call or something like that to really kind of make it uh, special. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in becoming a member and helping support the channel. Um, that will be coming hopefully in the next week or two. Um, it's been approved, but I got some work to do to get it up and running. So simple little things kind of holding back a little bit there. So again, share the content, especially if you see something that you like. And as always, let's head over to that cure and let's get this thing sliced. Said Dr. Doom. So here is the mask we're going to be printing from Four Mule 8. Um, made this one and actually it is a really awesome mask and I did this completely with an Ender 3 so I didn't touch the CR 10s and I did it in a full print which is pretty awesome when you look at what you can do with these prints so um, he did and they did he did an awesome job in making the model with the 10 files there's the full there's the top and bottom halves and even put it in quarters if you even have a smaller printer than the ender 3 but luckily for our ender 3 we can do this in one solid print so let's kick over to wonderful cura now here are all the files i'm going to do do mask full and there we go so it uses a lot of the build perimeter as you guys can see i am running cura 4.10 um, I've got my profile in here, and as you can see, there are actually quite a few areas that are unsupported. Now, one thing I didn't like, and pardon Google having it say over here, was the way it sat on the bed. So when it came in, and I can't seem to get a good angle on it, wee! Ugh, okay. I don't like this. 
And I had some problems with this, and I actually wound up printing this three times. I tried putting some custom supports in here um, to try to get it to stabilize and stuff like that, and it just didn't work well. So there's only one thing you can really do. I went to rotate, and I laid this guy. Uh, I laid him flat on the bed as I could get it. Let's try the lay flat option. I think this is what I did, but it's probably going to do something funky because Kira does. Uh, and it didn't really help us out there. So basically, oh, there we go. That's what I did. It was the two-step thing. So now it's laying down on the bed. And it actually shortens it so your axis doesn't have to go up as high. Now, I did have some concerns when printing this. So, of course, we're going to go over here to this button. Have your model selected. Whoops, I didn't want you yet. Ah, uh. <laughs> mistake. Okay, we're going to delete that one. And I came back in here, and I just added a custom, couple custom supports as it went up, just to make sure it was going to be okay. You don't have to do this. I'm paranoid, um, especially as I go up. And if all I've got holding onto that bed is that, I want a little bit of extra support. Um, some people get on to me that I'm wasting material, but I want the final product, and I want the final product done well. So I am willing to do some custom supporting. And honestly, I will put a few up here just to give that a little bit more support so, the, so it builds correctly. And through here, support, um, let me scroll down to support. Oh, uh, print my infill on this. I did it 20%. You can do it lower. Uh, it's at 100 for another model. 10% uh, is all you need. It's a mask. You're going to wear it on your face. You want it to be able to stay on your face. So you don't want it too overly heavy, but you do want it stronger. You could go with a thicker wall, but a little bit of infill, it actually kind of helps the model build itself. So build plate adhesion. I did do a raft. Um, I have tr been testing some settings to get rid of the raft. A 0.5 margin or a 5.0 margin is more than enough. You could actually kick that down to three if you wanted to, to save some filament and generate support. 80% is more than enough since we've added the custom supports. It's going to give support up in the eyes. It's going to do some support here and some support here. So this all builds correctly and it'll do a little bit of support here. So, and we want that to build correctly. So, all in all, this model is fantastic. It is easy, it is clean. Um, like I said, I did this was with an Ender 3. The mask you're gonna see in the video that I was holding in my hand was made with Inland PLA Plus Silk. Um, you'll also see a picture of it done with Duramec PLA Plus Silver um, and JO PLA Plus S Silver Silk. Um, I wound up making this three times because I made one and then a couple other people decided they wanted them. So. Um, I made a couple of these. So, but all in all, the detail is gorgeous. Um, the cleanup was simple of getting the supports out. I was really worried I was going to break this when I was taking the support out, and I didn't. I was very surprised how strong this actually printed in. So the model actually has a really good build, um, all in all. So that's all we did. We hit that slice button. We send this up. If you're still using the SD cards, you send put that on your SD card, take it back to the printer. If you're using Octoprint, uh, you open up your Octoprint page and you copy it over and get your printer rocking and rolling. So we'll cut over to the time lapse. This time lapse, I have a couple in here. Um, I did do the halves. I had some fails. And all in all, it was a pretty easy model. And as you can see there, it takes a day roughly to print this one, um, which is really cool, especially if you're coming up with Halloween. It's definitely, you know, Dress, uh, dress it dad as uh, Dr. Doom and you have your little Fantastic Force. Um, you know, who knows? But the mask is actually really well suited for an adult. So um, kind of keep that in mind. If you're doing this for a kid, you may need to scale it down, which is really easy to do. You grab your model, you go over here, and you scale it down a little bit. Not a lot of hard thing to do. So all in all, easy print. But let's get over to the printer. Again, if you guys have any questions, hit that Hit that comment button down there below and leave me your question in your comment. And if you're liking the content you see on the channel, hit that subscribe button because we always need new friends and joining the crew to help out. And let's get this thing sliced and I'll see you guys at the end.
right, guys. Final product. And might I say, I think it came out really well. This one, there's a little bit of deburring I still need to do where supports were on this for, on this iteration. But all in all, for one print and a hood and everything else, you've got your Halloween costume. Whether you're an adult, a kid, just a fan of the Fanta of Doctor Doom, here you go. Real easy way to do it. So stick around. There's going to be some more ideas. You're going to see some more new printers coming up this month. Uh, the CR10 Max is one of them. Um, I've actually got it doing its first production print now. More to come with the CR30 and more definitely things to come with masks and stuff like that. And just an example of that, we've got Quill's Guardian of the Galaxy helmet. Um, it actually just came off the printer. I got a lot of work to do before we start this video with that. But hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you're new here or if you just enjoy the content. And we will see you guys next time.